You're watching Global Daily Mirror News Alerts. The Department of the Interior and Local Government urge local government units and the Philippine National Police to make sure all preparations are all in place for the upcoming fourth edition of the Bayanihan Bakunahan, which will run through Thursday to Saturday. Vaccination sites include hospitals, malls, churches, plazas, and other areas to be identified by the LGUs. According to the National Task Force, Bakunahan 4 will mainly target senior citizens in areas where vaccine coverage is still low. Presidential candidate Senator Ping Lakson expressed support to the Department of Labor and Employment's order to review and adjust the minimum wage of workers amid the rising cost of fuel prices. Senator Lakson said that while some middle-income families could manage the higher costs of living, ordinary Filipino families may not. Earlier today, the presidential candidate also did a courtesy call to Paranaque City Mayor Edwin Olivares. Also present in today's visit was City Councilor Orvando Quizon and City Councilor Candidate Pablo Paulo Olivares II at the Perenaque City Hall. A wind convergence or the shear line is affecting Visayas. The low-pressure area down south continues to pull in rains over Mindanao. According to Pag-asa, the LPA was last spotted at about 465 kilometers west of Zamboanga City. Cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms will continue over Visayas, Mindanao, and Palawan. Meanwhile, the northeast monsoon or hanging Amihan will bring cloudy skies with light rains over Cagayan Valley, Cordillera Region, Bicol Region, and the rest of Mimaropa provinces, Aurora, and Quezon. Cool weather is also expected in the evening over Metro Manila and the rest of Luzon due to the hanging Amihan. Paolo Benjamin of the OPM band Ben & Ben shares his fitness journey. Paolo has finally hit his goal weight. On social media Wednesday, he shared before and after photos of himself showing how his body changed through the years of hard work and sacrifice. In the caption, he said that he wanted to celebrate the growth with everyone, as well as the stretch marks that were left in his body. He then thanked those who cheered him at his lowest moments and left an encouraging message for those who are on the path of growth. On the other hand, four town characters in 2022 American computer animated coming of age fantasy comedy film titled Turning Red are actually based on South Korean boy bands Big Bang and 2PM. Director Domi Shi revealed in an interview with Billboard Japan that the characters in the movie's boy band called Four Town are based on Big Bang and 2PM since she's a huge fan of both bands. Disney and Pixar's animation film Turning Red will be released on March 11, 2022. And that's the latest for this hour. Subscribe to Global Daily Mirror on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And visit www.globaldailymirror.com. This has been Ice Martinez. Good afternoon.